Hi, I'm Joshua Bassett, and today I'm going to be showing an emoji, and I'm going to pick what song I think fits best with it. I'm very excited, and I hope you are too. I'm stoked. I'm, I have no idea what, what's going to happen, but I, I've not put a lot of thought into emojis and music, but I think that's probably on me. This is a good time to start figuring that out. Well, of course, peach, peaches, how could you not? For the rest of time now, I'm going to, every time I see a peach emoji, I'm going to think of Justin Bieber and how much I love him. I'm a, I'm a believer. And if you aren't yet, that's on you. I'm sorry, but you're missing out. A sunflower, well, who doesn't think of Harry Styles when you see a sunflower? I know the album, guys, trust me, I've listened many, many times, but when you're under the pressure of an interview, sometimes it just doesn't come. But um, yes, Sunflower by Harry Styles. I would say is definitely the song that I think of when I see Sunflower. Yes, everybody who's seen any interview of me at this point knows that I'm a Harry Styles fan because I don't think there's any interviews I get through where I don't mention how much I love Harry Styles. So yes, very much a Harry Styles fan. I have not met Harry yet, no. Uh, it's very sad, but I think when the time is right, I don't feel ready, you know? I'm almost like, when you're ready, it'll happen, but the time is not now, you know? Harry, if you see this, Feel free to reach out to my Instagram. My DMs are open for you and only you. A circle. Uh, circles. <laughs> what comes to my mind? This, the first two were easy. Now I'm trying to think of a song that has to do with circles. I think this, the perfect song for this is Stay by Rihanna. Boom, next track. Well, okay, the first thing I think of was Senorita by Shawn Mendes and Camille Cabello. A heart, aw. Uh, wow, there, I mean, who does, there's like a million songs that you think of uh, with a heart. For some reason, I'm thinking of When We Were Young by Adele. I don't know why that song makes me cry every time, but uh, When We Were Young by Adele is the one that comes to mind. I am also a super hardcore Adele fan. Yes, I uh, listen to Adele all the time. I really love that she's only put out three albums in so long and she really only talks when she thinks she needs to. Uh, she doesn't say too much and she doesn't say too little, it's just enough. And I don't know, I'm just a huge fan of everything she does and I'm pretty sure she's doing a, a collab with Beyonce, which is wild and I'm very much looking forward to that. I don't know if that's true or not. That might've been an Onion article, but I'm pretty sure it's true. I, I don't know from what I've heard, so. Very much looking forward to that. We got there, by the way, by a heart emoji. That's how we got there. <laughs> Talking, man, uh, geez. That's funny, I mean, okay, there's a lyric in my song that's coming out on the 7th uh, called Feel Something. There's a lyric in it where we say, we're talking shit just to tell it. So that's what I think of when I see that guy, is talking shit just to tell it. So I would have to go with How Conveniently you Feel Something by Joshua Bassett. Unashamed self plug. Oh, the waves. Oh, I think of uh, Wonder by Shawn Mendes when I see that. I don't know why the music video has cemented in my head Shawn Mendes standing at rocks with a lot of water splashing on him. And for whatever reason, that emoji is eliciting that answer. So we're gonna go with uh, Wonder by Shawn Mendes. I also do love Sean. Ever since Sean became popular, people have sort of compared me to him and uh, I was always like, I want to be unique. But at the same time, I'm like, you know, he's really dope and he's actually a really good person to be compared to. And I also love all of his music, so, you know. Oh, is that a church? Church, duh, because I see a church emoji and you didn't think of that. Take Me to Church by Hosier. Ooh, a snake. Uh, wasn't there, oh man, this might be, uh, people are gonna come after me. Please have mercy if I get this wrong, but wasn't there something that Taylor Swift did with the snake, a music video? Look what you made me do. Okay, I was right. Look what you made me do by Taylor Swift. Yeah, that was pretty iconic when she just did that. She just like owned the narrative on everything people were saying about her and she just was like, you can't. Uh, she made like a super simple pop song that ended up being one of the biggest songs in the world. And I think it was the ultimate F you to everybody who was uh, sort of talking smack. I love the kiss emoji. Yes, she looks so perfect by five seconds of summer. I don't use the, the lipstick kiss emoji, but uh, I do think it's cool. Like I'm a, I'm a fan for sure, but I don't I don't use it actively or really any emojis. I don't think I'm an emoji guy. To me, they they just aren't my thing. But maybe maybe after this, I'm gonna be full emojis. I think people would genuinely be concerned if I started texting them with emojis. They'd be like, Is Josh good? Like, what's going on? Like, I don't think they would think I was okay. But you know, I'm a fan. Like, I like emojis. I love when other people use them and they're just not my thing. Fire emoji. Uh, 
Uh, maybe this is, uh, honestly, Sean Mendes is just taking my entire psyche. It's just Sean Mendes against this. The thing that comes to mind is I Know You Did Last Summer by Sean Mendes. And there's a good chance that that's just because I was looking at his discography. And that was one of the last things I saw was I Know What You Did Last Summer. But that sort of flame, that sort of fiery uh, feeling definitely makes me think of that. Cowboy hat. The first thing I think of when I see that emoji is Dan and Shay. I don't know why, like 10,000 hours comes to mind. When I see that, I'm not like a huge country guy, but I really love that song, 10,000 Hours. Uh, I, and that's not to say that I don't love country music, I just don't choose to listen to it. But the one that I do choose to listen to, the one song, is 10,000 Hours by Dan and Shay. And Justin Bieber, let's not forget. Champagne. There's so many songs with champagne. Hoodie, Allen, Black Bear, and Kyle's Champagne and Pool is the first thing I think of when I see two glasses of champagne clinking. Okay, violin emoji. I don't have an answer for you. This is like the most easy one, the most obvious one in that's been mind. I guess the Coldplay song. I mean, Viva La Vida by Coldplay, obviously. What an iconic song, by the way. Like, such a great, such a great song. I remember being 11 and jamming out to that song nonstop. I think of um, Thinking Out Loud by Ed Sheeran, which sounds probably very strange and it's the last thing you would imagine. But it looks like, it looks like these emojis that it's, that looks like an older gentleman that is walking down his daughter or the bride. Maybe I'm reading that wrong, but that's how I've interpreted it. That looks like a dad walking his daughter down the aisle as well as it could be the groom and the bride. I don't know, but if it is the groom and the bride, the thing that comes to mind is Thinking Out Loud by Ed Sheeran. Uh, he's got so many good wedding songs. That man really does know how to serenade. Perfect by Ed Sheeran. That's like the best wedding song. You can't fight me on that. It is it is made for weddings and it is, you can't go wrong with perfect bed sharing. Uh, I'm ashamed, but I mean, Hotline Bling, it, he really did it. He really did that, you know? Like I see that and I think of Hotline Bling. Ah, that's annoying, I really don't like that. that that's like, uh, he's in my psyche more than I, I'd like, but that's just where we are. So Hotline Bling by Drake. The Sun. Who doesn't think of Here Comes the Sun by the Beatles? That's one that I'm happy that they occupy my, my mind and forever I associate the sun with them. So thank you to Paul, John, and Ringo. And I am so sorry. I literally am blanking on the fourth one. Oh my God. It's John, Paul, Ringo, and George. Thank you to all four of you for uh, giving us the masterpiece that is Here Comes the Sun. And forever making us think of that song whenever we see the sun. Maybe not everybody, but for me, that's the case. Okay, baby. That's very generic. That can mean many things. Uh, baby. I mean, you're doing this on purpose, but uh, pretty obvious one there, actually. Justin Bieber, baby. Can't go wrong. I've never hated that song. I've always been like, you know, kind of a bop. I, I mean, I get it. It's like the most popular song in the world. Like the video on YouTube has like 8 billion views. Like people, People can hate on Justin all they want, but that song has 8 billion views. There's 7 billion people on the planet, I'm pretty sure last time I checked. It's pretty crazy if you ask me. Anyway, baby Justin Bieber. The ghost emoji. I feel like there's an obvious one that I'm missing right now. Oh, uh, Two Ghosts by Harry Styles, because that song is actually a really cool song about how, like, I, that's how I've interpreted it. Maybe this isn't the actual interpretation of the song, but, you know, that th two people have, like, sort of, changed completely and now all that's left is just the two ghosts of who they used to be and so that's all that's left and there's nothing more you can make of that you just kind of have to accept that it's like it's a bittersweet thing you know uh that's how i've interpreted that song that's an interesting emoji what is that emotion like what is that trying to convey i guess it's just all in their interpretation oh you know what um dreaming with a broken heart by john mayer wolf i'm gonna cry right now that's a hard one Dreaming with a Broken Heart, John Mayer is like probably one of the saddest songs ever written. It's very true. You can it can apply to like any life circumstance. And that was actually a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. I was a little bit stressed, like, oh, I'm not gonna know, but weirdly, like, yeah, it's just so funny how, how those links are made in your psyche between different things. Like, for example, the, the hotline bling answer. I was like, I, I hate that forever. Like he's just he cemented that in my mind that I associate a cell phone with with uh, with Drake, but yeah, it's it's always interesting how you have those like weird connections in your brain to, to different things. And I, I don't, I can't say that I'm gonna use emojis more, but I definitely have a new appreciation for emojis and all that they can mean, because they can mean so much more than on the surface. This has been MTV's Emoji Song Challenge. I'm Joshua Batson.